Colin Kaepernick named the GQ Citizen of the Year, and this is supposed to represent a win for black people. The last time I mistook skin complexion for progress, I called him Barack Obama. My name is Candace Owens, and you are watching my new vlog series, The Declaration. Citizen of the Year because he bravely knelt down during the national anthem. Man, the definition of bravery has really shifted over the last few decades, and quite frankly, I'm embarrassed. Let's take it back to 1944, shall we? When the Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy during D-Day. The average age of the men on the front lines were between 18 and 20 years old. Their chances of survival during the first hour were one in two. Yep a 50% chance that they were going to die a bloody and gruesome death on a beach far from home. Fast forward to 2017 and a 30 year old grown man who is being paid millions cannot stomach standing for the national anthem, which is meant to honor those children who died on those beaches. To add insult to injury, that grown man is now being honored with citizen of the year. Colin Kaepernick, you are a coward in my book. And when the dust from the storm of ignorance settles, you will be remembered as one. For those of you not made privy, Colin Kaepernick's Twitter feed has become something akin to the longest running episode of Toddlers and Tiaras ever. If you thought it was just the national anthem that he was throwing a tantrum about, here's a recap of everything else that makes Colin emotional. Number one, the 4th of July. Colin couldn't bear the idea of fireworks and hot dogs, so he went to Africa to find his true independence. Number two, Thanksgiving. Because Colin couldn't stand the idea of turkey and family, he traveled to find a Native American tribe during the sunrise. Number three is me taking bets as to where he'll travel for Christmas Day. I'm thinking Israel or the North Pole to see Santa. The only thing brave about Colin Kaepernick is his girlfriend, because if I had to deal with a toddler man feeling emotionally reduced by every holiday, <laughs> no. Watch some fireworks, Cap! Eat some stuffing! And please, for the love of baby Jesus and everything that is fun about his birthday, do not ruin Christmas. Then, of course, there's the controversy surrounding Meek Mill, a rapper who, after four probation violations, and a stern warning from the judge was issued prison time. Not one, not two, not three, but four probation violations. And of course, Colin Kaepernick came rushing to his aid in another ill-advised tweet. Cap would like us to know that he spoke to Meek Mill, and he will continue to fight against the harsh sentencing practices that have affected Meek and millions of other people of color for generations. Breaking the law is illegal. The consequence of doing something that is illegal is getting arrested. Meek Mill is in prison because he broke the law continuously, not because he's black. Highlight of my week was Jay-Z chiming in in support of Meek Mill, talking about the injustices of prison sentencing. Not the same Jay-Z that tried to get Hillary super predator Clinton back into the White House. Yep, that Jay-Z. You mean the Jay-Z who's married to the woman that threw a concert to put Bill Clinton back in the White House? Yup, that Jay-Z's wife. You mean the same Bill Clinton who locked up more black people than any president in the history of the United States? <laughs> that Bill Clinton. <laughs> you mean to tell me that we're meant to protest against harsh prison sentencing when rich rappers go to prison for doing illegal crimes, but we're supposed to vote for the people that created those sentences? If you're a fool, yes. Huh? Colin, you are a citizen of the year to no one but the Democratic globalists and their media cohorts who work overtime to make sure black people stay on the cycle of nonsense. The same media that refuses to talk about the actual issues facing the black community. And I gotta tell you, it's not police brutality. 16 unarmed black men were fatally shot by police in 2016. 16. Meanwhile, approximately 1,876 black babies are aborted every single day in the United States. Meanwhile, 762 black Americans were slaughtered in Chicago alone. Hmm, if the highest priority is preserving black lives, you'd think you'd hear a lot more about those stats. More police officers are fatally shot by black men every year. We lost 16 black men 
and 147 police officers in 2016. Interestingly enough, in New York City, black men make up more than 75% of all shootings and yet only represent 23% of the population. And so the question remains, why are black people disproportionately committing crimes in this country? We represent 15% of the population in the largest counties, and yet we make up 57% of the murders in them, 45% of all assaults. If you were anything like Colin Kaepernick, you would say that those facts are racist and come up with no solutions or answers. But if you were smarter than him, then you would induce that there is a direct correlation between crime rates and poverty. How does the black community solve poverty? Is the answer A, kneeling during the national anthem? Is the answer B, doing everything that Jay-Z and Beyonce say we should do? Is the answer C, protesting and rioting? Or is the answer D, none of the above? Colin's protest is garbage. It's a distraction from the conversations that we should be having as a community. It's similar to having a black president in office for eight years and seeing absolutely no change or progress. But ignore me, I'm acting white. Intelligence makes me an Uncle Tom, like Larry Elder or Thomas Sowell. In fact, let's keep encouraging black people to boycott and get arrested and sever any and all professional aspects that they may have, all in the name of real blackness. Look, if you're Colin Cap, Jay-Z, or the number one black extortionist, Al Sharpton, I want you to know that black people are waking up. It's only a matter of time until we all figure every single one of these things out. I know I certainly have, and I have no intentions of shutting up. Thank you guys so much for watching.